Knock, knock. Hi, my name is Cynthia Revelo. I am a nurse practitioner student from Azusa Pacific University, and I will be conducting your visit today, okay? Um, what's your name? Adrian. Adrian, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, before we get started, I'm just gonna do some hand hygiene over here. And Adrian, how old are you? Uh, 18. Great, and how would you like me to refer to you as today? Adrian. Adrian, so you're 18, you'll be graduating from high school? Yes. So you're in 12th grade right now. Mm -hmm. Great, and what grades are you making? A's and B's. Great, that's what we like to hear. Um, okay, Adrian, uh, we're gonna start your physical evaluation. Uh, would you like your father to step out? Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, Dad, we'll let you know when he's ready. All right. Um, so I did get an opportunity here to look at your height and weight. Uh, you are 69 inches, so you're five feet and nine inches. Your weight is 170 pounds. That equates to a body mass index of 25. So you are in the healthy weight category. You're not overweight and you're not underweight. Okay, so you're just right. And your blood pressure and all your vital signs look great. It was 110 over 65, your heart rate 85. Um, your respiration rate 17, um, your temperature is 98.0, and your oxygen level 99%. So that lets us know that all your organs are receiving the adequate amount of oxygen. So everything looks great. Um, also your auditory, which is your hearing test, came back perfect. And your vision is 20-20, which is also good. Okay, no problems there. So we'll start with the physical evaluation. At this point, um, I'm gonna be looking at your head here. I'm just looking that he has a full set of hair, uh, no bald spots noted to the head, uh, no scab, scab or scale, scaling noted, no erythema noted, no abnormalities. He has a full set of hair. I'm now gonna palpate his head. I'm checking for any lumps, um, any masses, any abnormalities, and any tenderness. Any tenderness, Adrian? No. Great, perfect. At this point, I want you to kind of push your head up there. I'm gonna feel on the frontal sinuses, any pain there? No. And the maxillary sinuses? No. Great, I'm looking here at the eyebrows. They're all nice and present. Uh, they have hair, no balding spot noted there. When he closes his eyes, I can see that the eyelids, uh, no lesions there, no erythema or swelling noted, and the eyelashes are present with no uh, debris as well. He can open his eyes now. I see that the sclera is white and bilateral uh, conjunctiva are pink and moist. I'm now going to test out his cranial nerves. So I want you to look at his pen light. I'm going to shine the uh, light directly to his um, eyes here. Red reflex present. Great. Okay, now just follow this pen light with your eyes, not your head or your neck, okay? Great, perfect. And cranial nerves number two, three, four, and six are intact. Um, I'm now going to move on to his nose. I'm looking at the outer structure of his nose here. It's symmetric on both sides. I'm now going to look into the nasal mucosa with the light. Tilt your head back. Great, no abnormalities there. And I can see that the septum is in the middle as well. I'm going to test out cranial nerve number one. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and just tell me what you smell here. Coffee. Great, and cranial nerve number one is intact. I want you to close one nostril for me and sniff. Close the other and sniff. Great, cranial nerve, nerve uh, Number one was intact, which we just saw, and the nasal pathways are intact as well. I'm now going to move on to his lips. I'm looking for any uh, cuts, any lesions, any dryness, any white spots, which are, are all negative. I'm now going to use my pen light here, and I'm going to look inside that mouth. Great, I'm looking at the oral mucosa, which is nice, pink, and moist. Now I'm going to ask you to say, ah, uh. with your tongue out, please. Great, and that tongue is pink and moist, and I see that the tonsils are present. Uh, they're not swollen and no signs of extubate noted. Now lift your tongue up. Great, perfect. And can you swallow for me? Okay, cranial nerve number nine and ten is intact. Uh, teeth are all present. They're nice and white. No signs of decay there. Um, now I'm going to test out cranial nerve number two. I want you to push against this uh, tongue depressor. Great, great. Cranial nerve number 12 is intact. Now we're going to test out cranial nerve number nine. I want you to Put your shoulders up for me, please. 
against my hands. Cranial nerve number uh, 11, yes, is intact. Um, now we're gonna test out cranial nerve number eight. I want you to cover that ear for me and just repeat three words after me. Red, white, blue. The other one? Cat, dog, fish. Perfect, cranial nerve number eight is intact. We're now gonna move on to assess the lymph nodes. Um, at this point, I'm looking at his neck. Any pain here? No. Great, the clavicle. Great, no swollen fixed lymph nodes. Now I'm gonna test out the uh, range of motion to the neck. Can you go around and around the other way? Great, full range of motion of the neck. Uh, no abnormalities there. I'm not gonna test out the uh, pulses, radial, brachial, carotid. I'll be taking a longer time with this. Uh, popliteal, dorsalis pedius, and I'll do the femora when he's laying down. Uh, pulses are plus two by, and they're equal bilaterally. Now I'm gonna listen to your heart. I'm gonna take one minute in each um, cardiac landmark. I'm gonna first use my diaphragm for this. And of course I will be doing this without his shirt on. Great, S1, S2 present. And uh, no murmurs or skip beeps noted there. I'm now gonna listen to your lung sounds. I want you to breathe in and out for me, please. At the same time, I'm inspecting his chest, checking for any abnormalities while I'm doing this. None noted. And now I'll be looking at the back, checking for any lesions, abnormalities there. Same thing. Great, I'm gonna tap on his back. Resonance, heard throughout, let tap here. Any pain there? No. No CVA tenderness noted. Now I'm gonna ask you to please lie down. I'm gonna look at his abdomen at this point. It's soft, it's not distended, no vascularities noted. I'm gonna check all four quadrants for one minute each, checking for bowel sounds. And it's present. Now I'm gonna uh, tap on your abdomen, okay? Tiffany heard throughout, I'm gonna slightly palpate, any pain? Great, all right, breathe in, and then out, in, and then out. No or organ megaly noted, no enlarged liver or spleen noted there. Great, I'm gonna check out the femoral pulses here, and I'm gonna check out his muscle skeletal system and his strength. So I'm testing out the hip joint. Great. Then this, outward, inward. Looking at that knee joint, inward, outward. Looking at the ankle joint, inward, outward. Doing the same to the other side. Adduction, then outward, inward, forward, up, and then Rotate outward, inward, rotate outward, inward. Now push against my hands here. Push against my hands here. Great, perfect. I'm gonna ask you to sit back up. And then just push against my hands here. 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 Great, we're gonna look at these joints here. Fingers bilaterally, great. Now don't go like that, don't let me push them together. Great, looking at that ankle, I mean at the wrist joint. Great, and then push against my hands, push against my hands, the elbow joint. And then push against my hands, and push against my hands. Great, and the shoulder joint, inward, outward, inward, outward. Against my hands, make some muscles, and against my hands. Great, perfect. Uh, strength five out of five, the upper and lower extremities and all the joints, uh, no carpetus noted. So that's great. I'm gonna ask you to stand back. We're gonna test out for uh, scoliosis. So that's just an S curvation of the back. Go down for me and go back up for me. I would be doing this twice. Um, I'm looking at the scapulas, the align and the hip as well. Do it once more for me. 
and back up. Great, no scoliosis noted. I'm gonna ask you to take three steps forward, three steps back, just looking at gait there. Uh, no abnormalities noted there. I'm gonna now listen to see if I hear any murmurs. Standing up, and now squat for me. Squat as low as you can. Great, perfect. No murmurs, all scotated. You can stand back up. I want you to close your eyes and tell me what number am I writing? One. Great, perfect. You can sit back down. And now we're gonna do your reflexes. And then here. And I do have a question. Are you doing your testicular checks? Are you checking? No. No? Okay. So I would recommend doing it like at least once or twice a month. A good way so you don't forget is try to do it when you shower. You know, um, that would be more often than what I'm telling you, but just so you don't forget, okay? Um, we wanna make sure that those testicles are distended downward and you don't feel any extra bumps or lumps, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to stand up. Right here, I'll be using the drape and I'll be checking his testicles. They're distended um, downward, and I'm gonna check for inguinal hernias at this point, so just turn your head that way and cough. <coughs> None noted there. Turn your head this way and cough. <coughs> None noted there. Perfect, you can sit back down. Um, so we'll start asking you some questions now, okay? Um, so you did answer, you're in 12th grade, you're making great grades. Um, are you keeping up with your dental hygiene? Are you brushing your teeth? Yes. Okay, great. How many uh, times a day do you brush? Twice. Twice. And are you seeing your dentist? Yes. Okay, how often? Uh, twice a year. Okay, perfect. And then, um, are you eating fruits and vegetables? Yes. Good. What's your favorite fruit? Banana. Favorite vegetable? Carrot. Great. You want to make sure you eat about two to three servings per day. Mm -hmm. And take that as a snack, too. Mm -hmm. It's a good alternative. Any problems with your elimination habits, with urinating, having bowel movements? No. No constipation, diarrhea? No. No pain when you urinate? No. Great, perfect. Are you drinking caffeine, coffee, energy drinks, sodas? No. Drinking water? Yes. Okay, good. How many cups per day? About four to eight. Great. You want to keep it from six to eight, so you're doing a good job with that. And then you did say that you played football. So you played like on average how many hours per day? Mm -hmm. One hour for practice. Okay, good. About almost every day? Yes. You want to definitely keep that up. And then, how's your screen time? Like, are you using your phone a lot, watching TV? Yeah, social media, two hours a day. About two hours. So you want to keep that as a max. You want to do about two hours or less. Okay, you want to make sure that you, you are active, which you are. Um, and then at home, or do you guys have smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Any gun at home? No. Great. And then, are you around smoke at all? People that smoke, no. bait? Good. And then, um, do you wear your seatbelt in the car? Yes. Uh, do you do any like bike riding, skateboarding? No. No. If you were ever to do that, would you wear a helmet? Yes. Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna ask you some personal questions. I want you to be as honest with me as possible, mm -hmm. okay? Um, do you use any drugs, marijuana, illicit drug use, like cocaine? No. Okay, perfect. Any alcohol consumption? No. All right, any smoking, vaping? No. Great. Are you currently sexually active? No. Okay, when you're ready and you feel that you're mature enough to have sex, um, just you always wanna make sure you use protection to protect you from contracting a sexually transmitted disease as well as getting someone pregnant, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you're ready to have the conversation, we're here to help you. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you're ready to have sex, we will be testing you for uh, like chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, and then how would you define yourself as a male or a female? Yeah. Okay, and you're attracted to? Females. All right, perfect. Um, and I did, you did complete your PHQ-2, which is a depression screen, you came back negative. You previously completed your NCAT questionnaire, which is testing for autism, came back negative as well, and your ACE questionnaire, which also came back negative. So that's good. Uh, you're making friends okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, any bullying? No. Okay, no bullying in social media as well. And it looks like you're meeting all your milestones too. You're making sense, we're having this conversation, you're comprehending everything, you're writing in school, and you're playing sports. And you're getting on average about eight hours of sleep at night? Yes. 
Perfect, great. I believe that completes our assessment for today. You're due for your flu vaccine in September, so we'll see you then, okay? okay. It was a pleasure to meet you, Adrian.